What's up, y'all? Around the corner, trucking me a long time. No, see, I ain't did a video in a while. Sorry about that. I just been, I, you know, I've been working. Be tired. I don't want to make no videos, but uh, here sitting at Amazon at the moment, waiting to go in. I don't know why it's so packed today. You know, we got trucks waiting in the waiting spots because I don't know what's going on. Maybe the system broke down or something. I'm not 100% sure here at Fife, but it's a little backed up. So I figured I might as well make a video while I'm sitting here waiting for my door to open. I'm about to go in here though in a minute because it's like three. It must be started at 320. It's like 315 now. So what's the point of coming early if you can't get on your door early? So yeah, but yeah, I did my, um, I had my safety audit. And I'm gonna put the website on the on this video. It was pretty easy, you know. If you got like to keep trucking or Motive, their new name, their ELD, you can do it right through your web page and send it to them for your uh, your log. Uh, things I had to put on there was like the um, I had to send in paperwork like gas receipts for the last 30 days. Oh, one thing I found out. Your record log, your paper record logs, logs, you're supposed to keep, uh, especially if you have drivers, if you actually hire drivers, you're supposed to keep those logs for six months. I didn't know that. I thought it was just 30 days. So I've been doing 30 days and tossing them. I didn't know you actually had to keep it for a whole six months. So that'll be changing. I got me a, went ahead and got me a file folder just for that to keep all you know for six months worth so yeah keep that in mind that your driver's record log the paper version you got to keep for six months your eld one that's all handled by your eld so you shouldn't have to you know you can just set it up to where it'll do six months you know when you send in the send your file into the dot so uh but yeah hey they go a rabbit <laughs> um so yeah, you have to keep your logs for six months to so keep that in mind. You'll have to turn in gas receipts. They want some of that for uh, part of your documentation for your log. Uh, what else? I had to do. I had to get my driver's record. That costs like thirteen dollars to get off it to get it off of the uh, DMV website. I think that was thirteen bucks. So I had to get that. Um, I, I had to give him a copy of my driver's license again. You know, some of this stuff is kind of, I don't know why you got to do it again, because you did it when you first started your authority. And, you know, your safety out is for the first year, so your license ain't going, unless you got a license that's going to expire. Ooh, excuse me. Within that first year, then I can see it. But if not, it's this part of the system. And your DOT is ran by your local state. Um, patrol so some of the stuff just don't make sense for why we have to do it I, I don't really get it like like I said like the driver's license I mean they look that up they self <laughs> I mean I, I don't get that part the whole driver record and everything but you got to get it and upload it um, upload your MC 90 for your insurance which is already on the system but you got to upload it again a signed copy of it uh what else did i have to upload mc90 which is insurance gas receipts uh driver log driver's license i feel like i'm missing something there was something else i had to upload and i just i don't remember what it was but it, it'll tell you when they send you the email if you haven't got your uh safety audit done yet it'll show up so yeah, uh, and then I got a cool little video when I was at uh, the Federway Postal, U.S. Postal Sorting Facility. I always knew it was there, but I never went in there because it's not like open to the public, it's just for the postal service. And you know those big metal bins, you'll see it in the video, uh, I'll attach it, but the metal bins actually get pulled along the warehouse floor to a different spot where they take them at. And I never knew that. I thought they were meant just to lock them into the trailer floor so they wouldn't roll or nothing or move around. They're actually used for moving um, around into the facility center there 
at the U.S. Postal Center so they could be moved around. So it was kind of cool. I kind of geeked out on it when I first saw it. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> so, uh, man, I've been kind of on the lazy side. Like I said, I ain't did a video. I ain't even did no exercise. There's been a lot of personal stuff going. Just got my truck back out the shop again. Goddamn box truck marker lights kept going off, you know, hitting too many bumps. They would just go off. So they said it was burnt out wires. So we'll see. <clears throat> we'll see. I thought it was the computer. So I guess there's a little box computer that goes from your main cab to the actual box. So it's kind of, it's a little way, you know how they do the wiring and stuff. It's a little interesting. You should see my little fuse box area, all the wires in there. But hey, you guys, don't forget to hit those like, share, subscribe here at Around the Corner Trucking. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out. Look at a wife in here helping the husband out by sweeping out the truck for me. Look at this, you guys. I had to get more work done. But I went to a place called Triple A Truck and Trailer Repair in Tacoma, Washington. This was, let me get out the way while I can sweep. This was my problem that was causing my box, box truck lights to go out. Can you see the wire? That's how your wiring job should be done comes out double coated to protect the actual wiring you put it you drill holes through the frame so it'll go through there so it don't rub and that's the way you want your wirings to be done all zip tied down keep it from moving the other side this is what the other side look like this is what i had the dealer this is the dealer's work the damn dealer where i bought the truck this is their work you see how that wire is right look how they left that so what I'm gonna do this side, labor costs, actually finding the problem was $525 to get that done. To go for, basically replace the whole wiring system, recap, reconnect. It goes all the way to the back. And basically right here, this repair up here, hopefully the sun ain't blocking it. Hopefully the sun wasn't blocking it. But if you saw that metal piece, that piece was done once before hands hopefully my hair ain't too bad been having the window down letting the wind blow but that piece that metal piece i sold a second ago was uh welded on a long time ago before i bought this truck whoever did it before and they didn't remove the wiring when they did it so basically it melted on there and shaved over time shaved it and stuff and so it was causing an electrical short five hundred dollars and it was smoking too when he did a power test he did a power test through the line and it was smoking so he knew exactly where the problem was don't ask me how the dealer didn't see that i don't even want to know i don't even want to know but all right you guys